Hi everybody, Pammy J here. First of all, I want to apologize for the first version of my foreign coin video. And I want to thank Alfred R. You helped me so much. And other people have too. Um, by telling me more about the coins I have and where to learn more. So I'm going to try to be a little more serious and um, show you some really nice foreign coins. And do them justice. First of all, this here is from the bank, the Upper Bank of Canada. This is a bank minted penny. And it's going to come in. See, I found out if I stay still, it focuses. Now, check that out. This guy is fighting a dragon. I didn't see the dragon the first time I looked. So, thank you guys. This coin is gorgeous. The reason it was minted by the Upper Bank of Canada is because the Royal Canadian Bank was not in existence yet. It wasn't up and running. Look how nice that is. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you. And I got this coin from Cheapskate Coins. Great guy, a lot of good info. I had a religious experience there the other night. I'll tell you about it another time. Okay, now let's go on. Another mistake I made. This is not an elk. It's a caribou, and it's on the back of Canadian quarters. Thank you, Alfred. And now, next. Look at this. This is from Canada also. It's a half ounce, three nine nine fine. Look at that. I said the other day that this was um I said it was Canadian and American boy was I off. This is for the special forces in Canada. It was about the war in the Pacific. But it was done for special forces. Look at that. This coin came from... Come on, I have to stay still and it's hard for me. Okay, well, I'm not able to stay still. So we're just going to say this coin came from Coin Hunting Couple. I won it on their channel. And it's a $2 coin. Okay. I'm going to work on that staying still thing. This one is from Australia. Um, and this one is about the victory in the Pacific. And it's also beautiful and also came from Coin Hunting Couple. I'll show you the back. Um, see that? It would make you think that it was from the U.S., but it's not. It says Victory in the Pacific on there. Come on, coin. Okay, I'm not staying still enough, apparently. Next, we've got these coins I said the other day were Aus wait, let me finish with the let me finish with the queen. Okay. This is from the UK. This is from 1963. It is one penny, and I said I didn't know about this guy back here, and for the life of me, I cannot remember. Is this the one, the Britannia? It was about the persecution of Britain. You notice I might. <laughs> the Britannia, I'm going with the Britannia, and it was about the persecution of the British something. Oh, boy, and I was so prepared. Well, I'm trying, anyway. And I was saying about the, um, these coins, the Helvetia. Okay, I was saying Austrian and German, and I was making a big joke about it. Well, Helvetia is Swiss. How about that? And apparently I knew that because I came across this. 
And I have Swiss on there. This is from way back. It looks like I didn't even know how to print. And this is their queen. Oh, Pam, you know, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the term CRS, but I really cannot remember much. <laughs> um, and these, I said, were that, oh, damn. Okay, I said were that this flower here was a lotus flower. It's not. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's P-E-O-N-Y. And these are from the Republic of China. I believe that's what Alfred told me. I should have wrote it down. I was watching Jeep and John this morning. He writes everything down, and which I should do too. And I had intended to do that, but uh, guess what I don't have with me? Yeah, you're right. Pen and paper. Okay, now I'm going to show you this and try not to move too much. This is from the Royal Canadian Mint. This is from 1997. I'm going to knock stuff over here. We're going to do it this way. All right, here we go. I'm going to do it a little sideways because I don't want to knock the other stuff. Oh, I can see my reflection. Isn't that attractive? Okay. Yeah, these are from... The Royal Canadian Mint, 1997. Now, I was watching um, the uh, coin collectors from the UK last night. And see the coin on top there? Well, the, um, their 1997 coins in Britain didn't come out until 98 because of problems at their mint. But I know that it, they're not the same thing because this is Canadian. But the coin on top, this is, oh, I'm sorry, they said their, the coin on top there was two pounds in Britain. It's two dollars in Canada. Is that not nice? Look at that polar bear. We got a duck. That's a dollar coin. This one, oh, where are you when I need you there, Alfred Orr? Well, anyways, these are 1997 coins. Um. In Britain, the 19, there is no 1997, like the two-pound coin or anything, because they didn't put any of the 97 coins out until 98. So I was also looking at this. Um, this is a 20 pence. Oops, it's upside down. This is 20 pence. Oh. Here we go. And it's a 19... 99 and um of course this is the the coin that has some value to it but it has value to me and i think that's the important thing with coin collecting if you like it and you found it in the coin store machine or you found it in your pocket change or in a roll it means something to you i remember the first the first penny i found that said it had the date 1969 on it. Was not an S. It was a double die. I didn't find that out until later. But I have that coin. It's a ugly beat up 1969 Philadelphia coin. But I'll never get rid of it. Okay. Oh, the reason I'm showing you these is because I was watching Quinn's coins last night or Treasure Town. One of them was looking for um, a 1988 and a 1954, a couple of different Canadian pennies. I found a bunch of old ones, but uh, let me show you this. Make it a little more... Uh, hear this? Okay, I don't know if I can do this. We're going to try it. This is all Canadian. There might be a couple of little... I don't know. And there's some euros from different countries in there. But I mean... I have a lot of them, and I think they don't make them anymore in Canada. So, if you guys are looking for a certain date, or you'd like to, you know, just have some Canadian pennies, don't be afraid to ask, you know, what do they say? The squeaky wheel gets the grease? Well, come on, bring it on. Oh, and one more thing. I know I'm going long. I'm sorry. 
What do you think of this? And I'm pretty sure only the older rock and roll people will understand this. See, it's a hella plant. See what it says? If you know what it means, or if you think this is a cute idea for a sticker, I know it's got nothing to do with coins, but I'm not very uh, up on my coins anyway. Although I'm learning, and I'm trying to get a little more serious, although I enjoy being a little, little silly. That's just my personality. And I always like to show this one because I love it. It's my spag pour. Come on, come in. Isn't that cool? It's so heavy and it's, oh, I don't know. I'm going to say rustic. I guess, oh, it's upside down, but I love it anyway. Okay, folks, I'm going to say goodbye for now because I'm going to do a 200, uh, 200 sub giveaway update sometime today because I'm almost at 300. I think I'm about seven away, and I'm going to throw some silver into that prize basket. How's that sound? Okay, this is Pammy J, and I'm out.